today and then turn it over for the more important people to talk um, about what's going on. But uh, workforce is an issue that many communities are dealing with throughout the Midwest. And if you uh, were to go really probably to any surrounding state or almost any state in the Midwest, uh, most of them are going to tell you the number one issue that they're dealing with right now is workforce. And it certainly is no different in Cherokee County, and it's certainly no different in Iowa. In fact, the Iowa legislature this year passed something that they call Future Ready Iowa. And in Future Ready Iowa, there's a portion of that that is called the Last Dollar Scholarship. And what that does is that it is the, the state of Iowa will spend some uh, scholarship money to send students to a community college in what they call a high demand job. Um, and they will end up paying the last portion of the cost for those students for their tuition uh, if they're in one of these high demand programs. So the students have to take their financial aid into consideration first, Pell Grants, scholarships, and all those kinds of things, and then the state will pick up the rest. Uh, and they did this because of uh, all the concerns that they've been having for workforce. What uh, is happening here in, in Cherokee is something that is really exciting to me because what I think the community has said is high demand jobs are important, and certainly they are, but everybody, every job is important. Um, and the thing that I've seen, at least in getting out into the community and talking to some of the people, there's three things about the, the Cherokee County community that really excite me. Number one is that they value everybody that lives here in the county. Um, because the Cherokee County promise is opened up to everybody in the, in the county. The second thing is they want everybody in the county to stay here in the county. So they want people to stay here and make their living here in Cherokee County. And the third thing is people are willing to donate funds so that everybody in the county can be the most that they can be. So if they've got an opportunity to go to school and get the skills that they want in any area that can contribute to the county. And I think that is something that no other community in the state of Iowa is doing. In fact, there is one other community, and I think when I got out, I, I kind of talked to some people, in the Mason City area, they're doing something somewhat similar to what the Cherokee County Promise is doing. Um, but I had a chance to go to Mason City actually this last week and found out a little bit about what they're doing, and it's just a fraction of what you guys are doing here in Cherokee. They're just opening it up for uh, students right out of high school, and they're just uh, um, opening it up for a shorter period of time than what the Cherokee County Promise is doing. And for those who don't know, what the Promise is, for students that live in Cherokee County, there's a scholarship now that's, it's, that we're working on creating that will allow those students to come to school uh, at a community college at Western Iowa Tech here on campus or online um, and it will be that last dollar scholarship so that the promise will pay for their scholarship past what their financial aid will pay for um, which means everybody here in the county has the means has the capability to get an education and I think that is something that is huge I want to recognize just a few people in the audience today. Um, and if I'm supposed to recognize, I think I see everybody, but if I miss you, please let me know. There is a committee that, got, uh, that, that came together and said this is something that we want to work on. Uh, Joanne Valentine and Joe Lunsgaard decided that they would be willing to chair that committee. So I want to thank both of those very much uh, for their work and for their vision uh, in doing so. Also on the committee is Kurt Johnson, Steve Thomas, and Matt. Jonathan as well. Uh, so thank you. And Brenda Perrin is, is on the committee, but she's not, I don't believe I see her here uh, today. So the committee has done really a, quite a bit of work up till now in what was the silent phase of this, and now we want to kind of roll it out for the community so everybody knows about what's going on um, and have a little bit more of a public phase. There's also a number of other people here. If you take a look at the, the checks in the back who have uh, had somebody on the committee come to them and say, hey, would you be willing to support this? And a number of people here in the community have. Um, and that's what I really think makes Cherokee County special and something that makes me very proud that Western Iowa Tech can be a part of it.